VGR. Hello and welcome. My name is Nate from VGR Extra and in these videos I'm going to be giving you my first impressions of the guns, specialist score streaks, equipments, maps and so on from the Black Ops 3 beta. If you've already seen this intro in a previous video, feel free to skip ahead to the time on screen. Otherwise I just want to state that these are my first impressions and in no way is my opinion definitive as to whether a weapon, for example, is good or bad, especially as I may change my mind before the beta is finished. So like I said, a first impressions. These videos should be useful so as you can have an educated guess as to what the best weapons are and which to avoid for when you get to play the beta, or just prior to the full release. Or of course if you're just curious and want to see what the Black Ops 3 beta is all about. Anywho, without any further ado, here is my off the cuff and unscripted opinions of... The Submachine Guns, CUDA. Weevil, Razorback, Vespa, and VMP. Okay, so let's start off with the CUDA. As discussed, it's a submachine gun and has a steady fire rate and balanced recoil. It has good damage and range, a medium fire rate with middling accuracy, and is basically your typical MP5 analog. At first, I wasn't particularly into this gun. I seemed to be struggling to get damage on people and although it had range I found it quite difficult to get on target. That's because once first unlocked um, I didn't have a sight and I really struggled with the iron sights with it but the minute I put a red dot on I really started to feel the worth of this gun and it's probably your most balanced submachine gun overall. Um, it's pretty solid and pretty good basically if you've ever played with an MP5 in any other Call of Duty pretty much you basically know what you're getting here. It's probably a tiny little bit better than most MP5s or MP5 analogs, um, but it's still pretty much the same, the same thing. So, okay, let's go on to the Weevil. Weevil has a large magazine, low damage, average range, a high fire rate, and good accuracy. Now, this kind of reminds me of a P90, except with a slightly higher fire rate. Now, it looks exactly like a P90, pretty much. Um, and like I said it feels like one but there are some slight differences you can definitely notice some nuances aside from just a fire rate. Overall I would say it's like a P90 except slightly better in all regards except for one in that it doesn't hold onto its ammo quite so well which obviously is explained by the high fire rate but all in all it's pretty good. Okay so next up is the Razorback it has the best range in class low damage, low fire rate and great accuracy. Now this weapon tends to fill the role of an assault rifle SMG hybrid in that it's not particularly great either being an assault rifle or an SMG but sort of holds that middle ground being best of both worlds. Now its damage is particularly low which is a bit of a problem however its range is great I mean it's practically on par with most assault rifles so Normally, if your damage is low, it gets compensated by your fire rate. And the fire rate isn't by any means bad, but it really isn't great. It doesn't compensate for the damage like other fire rates tend to. So it is good, um, and you definitely get that movement of an SMG with the ranging of assault rifle, but it lacks that damage. So in CQC, it kind of struggles a little bit. And then again, at range, it kind of struggles a little bit in compared to an assault rifle. Um, so, you know, you'll be able to pick out those targets, but it's hard to get them down quickly, do you know what I mean? You have to put a lot of bullets on them before they're going compared to an assault rifle. So, it's good, but it's kind of a jack-of-all-trades master of none. I'm not saying in any way it's bad, but it definitely has its shortcomings. Okay, so next is the Vespa. This has decent damage, low range, highest fire rate of all the SMGs, low accuracy, and it kind of reminds me a little bit of a Vector K10 from Black Ops 2. But this for me is by far my least favourite SMG. All the other SMGs have some sort of qualities to them. They do something specific that I really like. However this one, the only thing it does well is kick out its fire rate. Which is okay but it doesn't have a huge amount of ammo. And it doesn't have a lot of damage. Its range and accuracy is pretty pitiful. And basically I'm not really that keen on it. 
I didn't seem to get many kills with it, and it didn't seem to be good at anything apart from literally just bum rushing people. So that's the Vespa. Next is the VMP. This has great damage, low range, very high fire rate, and low accuracy. It has fairly small magazines for a weapon with such a high fire rate. Remind it kind of reminds me of a Scorpion Evo um, in that it kicks out its bullets really fast and has good damage, but it doesn't have particularly great accuracy or range. However, I didn't find that to be too much of a problem because in, at close quarters in CQC it's a beast, it will just tear people up. And as long as you rush in, you can't play um, conservative with this gun, it's just not going to happen. But as long as you're rushing, you, I, I seem to find you can get kills really good with it. And even at range, although on paper the range and accuracy is supposed to be not too different between the Vespa, which I previously said I don't like, it seems to pick out um, targets better at range. And its recoil is very manageable, whereas I found the Vespas to be a little bit unpredictable. So overall I quite like this weapon even though it has its shortcomings at range. Okay so as to what the best SMG is or my favourite SMG so far, uh, it's a bit of a toss up between quite a few actually, there's some good contenders here, they're all pretty decent in my opinion apart from the Vespa, I just, I didn't like it, I didn't get it, it didn't seem to do anything particularly well. But all the rest definitely have their roles. Uh, the Cuda is particularly well balanced, um, the Weevil is pretty decent, it's got a good fire rate so it's kind of good for close quarters. Um, the Razorback is a beast for long range, for SMGs, like seriously, it's the longest range SMG I can remember anyway. And the VMP is an absolute monster at close range. So it's pretty tricky but it, if I was to narrow it down I'd switch it between the CUDA and the VMP. The CUDA is the most balanced so it's going to be good in all aspects in terms of range, you know, both at middle, short, long, whatever. It's got a decent fire rate, decent damage, all that stuff so that's pretty good. But it's a little bit boring um, and bland so I prefer the VMP. I mean I know it's not great at range but you don't want an SMG particularly for range if you want that whack on an assault rifle or pick the Razorback because it's got great range. So for me I like the VMP and I like to rush falls like on Domination and things like that. I, I find it just tears them up on this so that for me is my favourite submachine gun. Okay so feel free to hit me up with your thoughts on these guns and that just leaves me to say if you enjoyed this video please like, comment, share and subscribe for more BS of a similar nature. Thank you and goodbye.